Good morning students. Today we will talk about Geography Chapter 1 Resources. As we all know that anything that can be used today to complete the need of a person is called a resource. There are different types of resources, natural, human and human-made resources. We should conserve them for our future generation. In this chapter, we will talk about resources and their uses in Dear students, today we will talk about Geography Chapter 1, Resources. We all know that anything that can satisfy our daily needs is called a resource. Any substance that can be used to satisfy a need is a resource. We can take Daily life example, books, mobile, calculator, fan, AC are the resource. Now we will talk about the classification of resources. First is natural resource. Natural resource are the resource that can drawn from the nature. They are both are renewable and non-renewable resources. Now we will talk about human resource. Human beings are the most valuable and special resource because it is because of the human efforts we can make anything into a product. For example, computer which is made by a human. Now we are talking about human made resource. The natural substance that are changed from their original forms into a developed means of human skills and technology like building, bridges, dams, machinery, vehicles. Development and the uses of resources. Actual resources are those resources whose quantity is known. Actual resource like a student in a class whose quantity can be easily known comes under actual resource. Now we are talking about potential resource. Entire quantity may not be known. These are the that kind of resources whose quantity may not be known, but we will use in future, like uranium, which is found in Ladakh. Now, we are talking about the origin of the resources. It comes under abiotic and biotic. Non-living resources like soils and minerals comes under abiotic resource. And biotic resource, living resources such as plants and animals. Now, if you are talking about the exhaustibility of the resources, renewable resources are able to get back again, like water, soil. Non-renewable resources are not get back, like minerals, like coal and petroleum. Now, there are some factors which is responsible for the distribution of the resources, terrain, climate condition are the main factor. Terrain means a flat land. The distribution of the resources are unequally over the earth. So, we should conserve the resources for our future generation. It is the need of the present era and for the future also. There are many ways we can conserve the resources like we can reducing the, its consumption and recycling and reusing things is another example. Now, we can say that carefully use of the resources and which can we can use today and we can save it for our future generations is a sustainable development. Now, there are some principles. We should carefully utilization of the resources we should minimize the depletion natural resources, bring awareness and the changes, personal attitude and their practices, and we should improve the quality of human life. At the last, we can say that it is our duty that we should carefully preserve all the resources which is available. All resources of renewable resources are sustainable. The diversity of life on the earth is conserved. We should try not to damage our natural environment. Thank you.